Here what it's part four of my UPS APC Smart 1500. Um, so what I did today is I pulled off the PCB today. I've um, drilled the two holes that were here uh, that held the the original 10 gauge wires, and uh, I made the holes bigger, and I installed some six gauge. Uh, it's a welding cable, six gauge, so nice solid. Well, not solid copper, but stranded copper. Still using the original, um, I believe it's the 75 amp power pole, Anderson power pole. And I just left the 10 gauge wires here. Uh, for now, I did a beef this little guy up here from 14 gauge to 10 gauge because it was getting a little bit hot the last time I was testing it around 60 amps constant. So, um, yeah, so uh, I was going to pull some wires from the top. A couple of 10 gauge wires, like two and on the positive, two in the negative, and go out the top. But I want to keep my case, uh, the original case, so I decided to just drill the holes. And uh, you'll see it coming down the side here. I just held all the wires up to this cap here with some zip ties and uh, assembled it back together. Um, when I pulled the copper through, I spread the, I spread the strands sideways so you get some better current flow even over here same thing same thing over here so I had to remove some of the copper 14 gauge wire that I had a, I had run around here because it was in the way so uh, should still get some really good current flow through there um, regarding the shunt so the last time in the last video you saw I had one shunt wire across the OEM shunt now I have four in total um, which I haven't tried it yet um, but I tried with two uh, sh extra shunt wires and I ran my, my fan and it went into overload. So with four, it should be enough to run 1500 watts constant, uh, which should be about 70 amps on the current meter. I've got my uh, watt meter plugged in here. Just try to focus this up a little bit. could swear this up button doesn't work on my meter <laughs> I don't know, it's weird okay, we'll just keep it on watts for now yeah, we'll leave this where it is let me see if I can go back to that screen, there you go so I'll turn the right now we're probably about 1 amp on idle we got the fan on now, so no heat 14 watts this is still not seeing load, that's how much lower the, the shunt is that it doesn't even read it now because it's uh, we're trying to trick the system to pump up more power so now we're on uh, a low heat mode She's still seeing about 480 watts 50% load and I don't know if it's going to do it but we'll see so 730 let's see It should stay on now. See, the last time I tried this was peaking over a thousand, so it was going to overload. But now it is at 1432, and she is humming. If you can hear these connect, that's actually the battery humming. If you can hear that, probably what it is is the the connections to the cells. Uh, straining out a bit, even over here, these connections because this battery is kind of fused. Uh, if you discharge, I think it's 80 amp, 80 100 amps limited. So uh, it's humming away though, but the fan is staying on. Let's try to check some temperatures. Transformers at 34. I'm sure the wire in this connector 10 gauge might be hot. Yeah, the 10 gauge is a little bit warmer. 
but it's to be expected. Oh yeah, those connectors at the top are getting hot. Um, I need to, that could be the source of the humming. It's about 80 degrees. Yeah, these guys are a little bit warm. Oh, that copper wire is still hot, so. You know, these are not the best connections. This is just my test battery. But it does hold current load really good. And this thing is hot. 1400 watts so the way it's configured right now is basically this this UPS will do 1500 watts continuous even though it says 960 it should be yeah very impressed with these uh, what these things can do it says 8 amps. <laughs> I doubt that. Let's see. So we're pulling 12. And that says 8. So it gives you the idea of what kind of shunt you need to run on the unit. Like this is not even warm, this little shunt that I put. Those are just some uh, shunt wires from a Infineon controller or a brushless motor controller from an e-bike. Um, but yeah, if I keep adding shunt wires, I, should, I shouldn't have any issue going up to... Uh, 1800 watts if I want to but uh all right I'll wait a couple of sec a couple of minutes here I'm gonna come back Let's see I'll check back at around five minutes so we'll see how the temps are I'll be right back 75 amp load right now okay I had I had to reduce the the current or the power because uh, these 10 gauge wires are gonna melt these are, ooh, those are crispy. Yeah, so I didn't want to, I was going to let it go. Even these six gauge wires are really warm. Not really, I mean, where the connector is, definitely. Um, they are lukewarm here. So it's just the connector. And I had a feeling that this was going to happen. What I may need to do is run um, solder on or connect two 10 gauge wires uh, to each of these inputs and put and basically run like 150 amp um, XT connectors. What are they called XT connectors? Anyways, um, RC connectors, they're 150 amp each. But run a piece of 10 gauge and then attach to the 6 gauge because uh, you know a lot of times it's not so much the wire it's just the resistance in the connector but maybe I'll just try upgrading this guy to here and see if it improves but um, those are uh, definitely crispy <laughs> getting a little warm So I'm just trying to get a measurement of the heat sink inside. Yeah, I still can't believe. I need a better, a bigger battery <laughs> to run this at a Carter load, but transformer is about 50. So she does get warm, but I think. Uh, I've seen other videos on the net of uh, someone else doing similar tests and they do end up sta stabilizing at about 100 degrees um, under a 1500 watt load by someone else I saw on the net so we shall see um, one other thing I'm going to check as well just for curiosity's sake is to see if the the charge current of the UPS will increase with the modified shunt which I think in theory it should because uh, you know, probably its computer thinks that, um, well, it thinks the tr the charge value is the same, but really, in reality, with the shunt, it's actually tricking the UPS. So we'll plug in the power. Hmm. 
charging at about 11 and a half amps so I believe it was something like 10 amps the last time so I think it did go up a little bit I could be wrong but um not a drastic difference if anything <coughs> and that's pretty much it guys I'll let this guy charge up and um, until the next test and uh, thanks for watching.